I want to start this week's podcast out by saying thank you to every person that sows into this ministry, partnering, partnering with us. Thank you, partners. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today, a hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. Now listen to me. I, I want you to know how important partners are to God getting His Word out. God wants us to understand and know that it's up to us to go into all the world and preach the gospel. But, you know, we have to have avenues to do that. And he's opened up an avenue for me, Stacy Hayes, to, to preach the word all over the planet through this podcast. And, and thank I thank God today for the partners that helped me do that. If you're not a partner of this ministry, Pray about becoming a partner of this ministry. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom through prodigal son ministries to not only see people finding out who they are in Christ, but to see the ones that, that have never been born again to come to know and understand that God really does love them and want to save them. There's millions out here in this world that really don't know that God's not an not uh, unpleasable tyrant. They think he is because religion has painted a picture of that. And partners, you're helping us debunk that lie. You're helping us truly teach people that Christ Jesus has made them a whole lot more in this world than we'll ever realize. So if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to, to see the lost saved and the, the born again become strong in their salvation in Christ Jesus, their Lord and Savior. You know, this is week 23 and it won't be long. We'll be, we'll be through with this study. But I want to encourage you. Go back. Go all the way back to, to uh, March of 2018. And, and, and find out what the Lord has, been, has done since 2018 through this podcast. Find out what, what he's, He wants you to understand about Him. And that is that you can believe His Word above all opinion. And this series that we're in right hand, right now, your place in Him. That this series is designed to teach you who you are in the Bible, not who you are. I'm not talking about what the uh, religion says you are. I'm not talking about how you feel as a, as a a person. I'm talking about how who you are in Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior. What the Bible says you are. Who the Bible says you are. And there, I, I've said it over and over. There's so many adjectives that that God has has written down for us to to proclaim over ourselves and over the people that we were ministering to. But we first we've got to first find out that those adjectives mean us too that they they're they're written down for us just as much as they are anybody else this is week 23 go back all the way to the beginning and listen through this entire podcast and find out what god's word is saying to you for you and about you find out that god's all for you becoming strong in him I'm talking about confident in Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior, so you can do what God has called us all to do, and that is to go into all the world and proclaim the good news, preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. It, it, I'm going to tell you something. Partners, you are, you are instrumental in teaching the world what God has called us to teach him teach them and that is that through Christ Jesus your Lord and Savior you have been made a new creature you're the righteousness of God you're you've been justified you've been sanctified in so many other words that God has given us to live in believe God's word believe what he says and 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 find out what God is saying to you for you and about you in his word 
Today, I counted a privilege to bring you my prayers for the world. I have adopted Paul's prayers for the Ephesians to every person, for every person that walks this planet today, that they come to realize the love and the mercy and the grace and the goodness that God has given them. And where they're going to find it, they're going to find it in His Word. Glory to God for His Word today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your Word. God, guide me. Use me today. Touch my mind and touch my mouth. Oh, Lord, I praise you and I thank you for the truth in what you have written down for us, for us as Christians, for the world, for the world that, that don't know you. I thank you that those that your truths are true for them too. All they have to do is receive it. I want to be guided and directed by you today. I want you to touch my mind and touch my mouth. Help me be the light that I'm supposed to be today. And I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I've not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope He has given to those He called, His holy people who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3, 14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from His glorious unlimited resources, He will empower you with inner strength through His Spirit. Then Christ will make His home in your hearts as you trust in Him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that he opens my eyes to that love more and more every day of my life. And he does it through his word. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Okay, today we're going to be in Romans 8, 37. And boy, this is a this is one more scripture. And we've got a, a lot of ground to cover in, with this one. Uh, the King James Version of Romans uh, 837 rather it says nay in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us the, the new living translation says no despite all these things overwhelming victory is ours through christ who loved us the amplified classic says yet amid all these things we are more than conquerors and gain a surprise surpassing victory through him who loved us now i want to talk to you today about something that you are more than a conqueror in christ jesus your lord and savior you are you are what god says you are and this is god's word it says, overwhelming victory is ours through Jesus Christ who loved us. How is, how is that? How can we overcome anything? Well, we talked about it yesterday. John 16, said it. He says, in this world, you're going to have tribulation. He said, but 
be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Now, how are we going to have overwhelming victory and overcome the world? Through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. We're in him. If we're born, if we are born again, if, if, if I'm born again and I am, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I am more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Yes, there'll be tribulations come, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm in Christ Jesus, and he has overcome the world, and so have I, because I am in him, residing in him, and I can receive what Christ done for me on Calvary's cross and know without a shadow of doubt that it's for me and believe that it's for me. Let me tell you a story. Years ago, uh, I've got some really dear friends that they have become dear friends over the years, and I helped them for, for years here in this local jail. I, they contacted me, uh, Terry, Alan's wife contacted me and said, hey, will you help us? I said, absolutely, I'd be glad to. So I didn't know what they, what they, that they'd already called my pastor and, you know, called all these people and, and talked to them about me because they're very, very particular about who they allow to minister in their ministry in these jails and prisons. And, and uh, I won't never forget it. I'd never met Alan before. I'd heard about him and, and I knew people that knew him. But I didn't know him. But Terry said, the first day that I went in over there, uh, he, she said, Alan's going to meet you and, and uh, go in with you one time and show you what he does. And that way you, you, can, you, can, uh, you can, you know, follow suit. So I get there. And we're, he, he says, hey, come here. Let's, let's sit down here and talk a minute. He said, I want to talk to you about, you know, about what we're doing. And, uh, hey, we sat there probably 10, 15 minutes, and, you know, he told me about himself and what, what the ministry was doing and how, how he wanted to do things. But he said something. He said, now, listen, he said, I'm not one to speak fear into you. I'm not one to speak fear into anybody. I'm not that kind of uh, minister. I don't, I don't preach fear. He said, but I want you to pay attention in here. He said, there's some bad people in this jail. He said, pay attention. And and what come up in me, I, I'll never forget it. Because he said, you know, he's, and he, he wasn't. He wasn't trying to scare me. He wasn't trying to do anything other than just, you know, let me know that, hey, this is what can happen. And just pay attention. Watch your back. So... But what come up out of me, or it come up in me, rather, I didn't say a word to him. I just kind of smiled and, and went on. But Isaiah uh, 54, 17, no weapon formed against me will prosper. And, and, and uh, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I think that's First John 4 and 4, if you, if you look it up. But those two verses of Scripture come, out, come up in me. And I've, I've, I've been in jails and prisons all over this area for the last six years, since 2018. And never in my life have I been in fear of, of anything that goes on in, the, in these jails. You know why? Because I know. I know without a shadow of a doubt. In all these things, we, have been, we, have, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. We have been made more than conquerors because Jesus Christ has, has, has paved the way. He's given us everything we need to overcome anything in this world. He said, I, John 16, 33, he says, these things I have spoken unto you that you might have peace. In another, another verse, it says, my peace I give unto you. See, God wants us to, to be at peace with, with our salvation. He wants us not worrying about uh, how we measure up to this world. I'm going to tell you something. Jesus made a way so, so that we can stand before God, uh, stand before God in His uh, righteousness, in God's righteousness through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And, and what Christ done, man couldn't do. And I want you to realize this. Know it. And get hold of it because God is, is working on your behalf through Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, to carry you through, 
to carry you through and make you a confident by a confident born again child of God so that you can go out here in this world and do what he's called us all to do and that is proclaim his goodness proclaim the gospel preach the gospel you say well I'm not a preacher well I'm going to say this we're all called to proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord and whether you're doing it at the grocery store, as you're uh, getting groceries, getting gas out here in this world, your friends and your family, or whether you're standing behind a pulpit somewhere in a church on a Sunday morning or a Wednesday night, whether or not, wh- whichever uh, place you are, God wants you to know that he, he will carry you through and strengthen you and help you, give you what you need to say. I think over my lifetime, back over the last six years, and you know, this podcast right now has almost eighteen hundred podcasts that has has went out and fed people throughout throughout the years, and and I get I get letters from inmates and and people that. You know, not only inmates, I've had people, you know, in California contact me and, and with really real, real big problems. And, and what I want, I, what I've always des, uh, desired to do is not bring them into my ministry and try to get them to follow me. Uh, there's, there's preachers out there that want people to follow them. It's not my place to 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 get out here and gather up a bunch of dependents that are dependent upon me. No, we, I want to make independent people in this world, in God's kingdom, that are strong and strong to go out and do what God has told them to do, and then make, help make disciples out of the ones that that they've seen born again. And just say, hey, listen, let me tell you what God's Word says about you as a born-again child of God. We're more than conquerors through Him, through who? Through, who? through Jesus Christ that loved us. I'm going to tell you there ain't nothing in this world that comes up against God's people that we cannot overcome. We are in Christ Jesus, and we're more than conquerors through Him, through what He has done. His sacrifice he done it once for all. And I'm going to tell you something. He didn't have to do it. The sacrifice that Jesus made don't have to be gone. About, go, we don't have to go back and, and do it again every year. No. He died once for all. He wants, he wants every person on this planet to receive him as their Lord and Savior. He wants them to know how much God loves them. So we've got a, we've got a picture of God that, that is not true. Jesus said, he said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. But yet, religion has painted a picture of of God as some some unpleasable, bipolar old man that can never be pleased. And I'm telling you, he's disgusted with you every day of your life. And that's what religion wants you to think that God is. That ain't God. That's religion. No, God is a is want you to know and understand that you are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior. So today, if you've never made Jesus Christ Lord of your life, today is the perfect day to do that. Do you want to be more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior? All you have to do is give him your heart and life. All you have to do is make Jesus Lord of your life. You know, I talked about that boy yesterday. I would call him a boy, but I mean, he's probably 35, 40 years old. And uh, he, made, he made Jesus Lord. And I told him, I said, don't ever let the devil tell you you didn't do it right. And he said, he said, he said that's exactly what he's telling me right now. And I just smiled. I said, don't ever let him lie to you. Because Jesus, you have made Jesus Christ Lord. I said, are you born again? He said, yes. And I heard him proclaim Jesus as Lord and believed it. He said, I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. And he was born, gloriously born again, just the other day at the jail. And, and let me tell you something. 
Uh, God's going to back him up, and he's just as much of, of a, a, a conqueror as anybody else on this planet, even though he's incarcerated somewhere in a jail. I want you to know something today. If you'll make Jesus Lord, it'll change your life like it's never like you've never seen it changed before. Only Jesus can do that. Come to him, make him Lord and Savior of your life today, and watch him change your life forever. Glory to God. Hey, listen, go to our website and get in touch with us. We have all kinds of resources on this on this podcast. Um, this, this ministry is there to help you. Everything we do is free. It is given away. We want it to be given away because much is given, much is required. It, it, God has blessed us. I'm talking about blessed us and, and, and helped us do what we're doing. And he's called us to give all this stuff away, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to see people born into the family of God, and then we're going to see them become strong in Christ Jesus, their Lord and Savior. So go to the website, get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com. Now, if you're a partner of this ministry, oh, I thank God for you, for your partnership and all that you do to help us further God's kingdom through this ministry. If you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.